Um, keep an eye out here if anybody else joins later we will welcome them with open arms but welcome welcome to our first uh, midweek uh, advent worship of the season um, and our first um, zoom advent midweek worship of ever so um, super super glad that we can uh, still do this in some fashion um, and glad that we are able to be together um, as we go through our worship this evening, just some helpful things as we get going. Um, everything that you need really will be on the screen as, as you're able to see it, but the liturgy is also, um, in the front pages of the Advent devo devotional book that went with the Advent kits. So if you picked up an Advent kit, um, there is a booklet and that has this liturgy in it. Um, there will be um, a poem for reflection and a song, um, and, and both that poem and, and that music are also in that devotional book if you wanted to follow along or um, sing along wherever you are. Um, but if you don't have one, it's fine because everything you need should be on the screen. So as we go through, um, kind of usual bulletin uh, formatting that uh, anything that is in, in regular text is me and everything that is in bold text is you. Um, I am willing to play it a little fast and loose with Zoom um, and it is up to you whether you want to remain muted or unmute yourself. Um, it's hard to speak together um, in unison on Zoom and also it is really nice to hear other voices. So um, we'll play it by ear. If things get too unruly we may just uh, uh, decide to do the group mute, but um, for right now, it's up to you as you're going through the responses, whether you want to um, be muted or unmuted for them. Um, same goes with video. You're free to keep your video on, uh, free to leave it off, um, depending on your situation. As we uh, get set, if you have Advent candles or an Advent wreath, uh, bring those close by. If you just have a candle to have close by, that works too. Um, we'll light the first Advent candle at the beginning of our worship here in a minute. Um, and I will light mine and invite you to light yours in the space and that will connect us all as we begin. Um, again, if you have an Advent kit, there are a few other things in it that you might want to have near you. Um, there is uh, in your kit that devotional booklet if you wanna follow along the liturgy there and not on the screen. Um, also in your kit is a packet of coloring pages. And so if you want to keep your hands busy during worship, uh, grab some crayons and colored pencils and uh, you're free to use those. Um, and at some point we probably should do a show and tell um, later, later in Advent to see what you all have been coloring. Um, you'll want to, if you can find it, uh, dig out that prayer card um, that looks a lot like the screen that has the world map on one side and Mary on the other. Um, and if you have the blue strips for making paper chains, those are all good things to have along. If you don't have them, if you don't have an end kit, don't feel like getting it, no worries. You don't need any of these things. Um, they're just nice bonus, bonus items to have for worship tonight. But friends, you can participate fully beginning to end in worship simply by being here. And we are glad that you are here. Ooh, I hear happy music somewhere. Oh, that's my house. Yeah, that may be something to turn down for now just because Zoom gets a little cranky about competing uh competing background noise so um hi guys there you go all right mm. friends from the one who is who was and who is to come grace and peace be with you all and don't so with you mm -hmm. come creator of the stars and bless our advent waiting Come, spirit of wonder, and restore our songs of praise. Turn us again, again. Lord, Lord, Lord. Come, long expected Savior, and console our restless hearts. 
Come, triune God, and fling wide the gates of our hearts. Turn us again. Come, O God, wipe away all fears. Let the dawn draw near. Turn the world it is the first weekend Advent, so we light one blue candle. And so I invite you, if you have a candle or an Advent candle to uh, nearby, to light one blue one. Let us pray. Dear God, as we begin our Advent pilgrimage, grant us the courage to hope. Hope for your presence, hope for your peace, hope for your promise. Amen. Our scripture for tonight are verses from Psalm 80, and we will read this responsively. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, leading Joseph like a flock. Shine forth, you that are thrown upon the cherubim. In the presence of Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh, stir up your strength. Restore us, O God. Let your faith shine O Lord God of hosts, how long will you You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have made us the derision of our neighbors. Restore us, O God of hosts. Let your hand be upon the one at your right hand. The one have made have made And so we will never turn away from you. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Let your face Let us pray. Gracious God, in times of sorrow and despair, when hope itself seems lost, help us to remember the transforming power of your steadfast love and to give thanks for that new life we cannot now imagine. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Our reflection this evening is the poem, I Will Light Candles This Christmas by Howard Thurman. If you have a devotional book, you'll find it on page 12 if you want to follow along, but you are also invited simply to listen and let these words um, bless you with their beauty and their truth. I will light candles this Christmas. I will light candles this Christmas, candles of joy despite all the sadness, candles of hope where despair keeps watch. 
candles of courage for fears ever present. Candles of peace for tempest tossed days. Candles of grace to ease heavy burdens. Candles of love to inspire all my living. Candles that will burn all year long. When the song of the angels is stilled, when the star in the sky is gone, when the kings and princes are home, when the shepherds are back with their flock, the work of Christmas begins. I am the lost to heal the to feed the hungry, to release the fear, to rebuild the nation, to bring peace among others, to make music in the heart. Our song for this evening is Canical of the Turning. This song is the song that our whole Advent theme is uh, based on, this idea that the world is about to turn. Um, if you have a hymnal, it's 723. That hymn, the hymn number is very wrong in the booklet. Um, or if you have the booklet, it's on page 10. Um, this would be the moment where if you do want to sing along, I'm gonna have you turn your mute on or mute yourself. So feel free to sing at the top of your lungs in your own space, um, but we'll have a better time hearing uh, the Ellingson men sing uh, if we're muted, um, but you are more than welcome to sing along in your own space. My soul cries out with a joyful shout that the God of my heart is great. And my spirit sings of the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait. You fix your sight on your servant's plight, and my weakness you did not spurn. So from east to west shall my name be blessed, could the world be about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, that the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. Though I am small, my God, my all, you work great things in me. And your mercy will last from the depths of the past to the end of the age to be. Your very name puts the proud to shame and to those who would for you yearn. You will show your might with the strong to fight for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears for the dawn draws near and the world is about to turn. From the halls of power to the fortress tower, not a stone will be left on stone. Let the king beware, for your justice tears every tyrant from his throne. The hungry poor shall weep no more, for the food they can never earn. There are tables spread, every mouth be fed, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. Though the nations rage from age to age, we remember who holds us fast. God's mercy must deliver us from the conqueror's crushing grass. This saving word that our forebears heard is the promise that holds us bound. Till the spear and rod can be crushed by God who is turning the world around. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn.
dear ones, we now enter into a time of reflection and prayer together. If you have um, that prayer card from your Advent kit, you're invited to um, bring it close um, and you can kind of use that for meditation or just the picture on your screen. Um, and I invite you to look at this map of the world, um, to imagine our world, its ecosystems, all of the beauty of creation, all of the different nations of the world, people near and far, those you love, those uh -huh. whom you struggle to love, family, friends, strangers. And as you look at this map and as you imagine our world and think about all, all the things that dwell on this earth, I invite you to ponder two questions. Um, and uh, these are questions for your meditation, but also for a bit of uh, reflection together as well. Um, so where in this world, as you imagine our world, where do you see hope? And where do you see the need for hope? I invite you in this next couple minutes to uh, share your thoughts on these questions with the group if you feel motivated to do so. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, also during this space, um, you're invited if you uh, have those paper strips um, for, for our Advent prayer chain, you can write prayer requests on those as well. But thinking about this theme of hope um, where do you see hope? Where do you see the need for hope? Let's take just a couple moments to reflect together on those questions. So um, feel free to unmute and, and share your thoughts if, if you feel inspired. <clears throat> Or in this vein of hope, are there any particular prayer requests that you would like uh, to bring to this group as a whole? No pressure, but. I want to pray for all those who are suffering from COVID and those who care for them. Mm -hmm. And in that vein, uh, the prayer of hope in my heart is watching um, how, how de watching the, the devoted work of medical researchers um, and those who are giving us a glimmer of hope with all the work that's being done on vaccine and all of the work that's been done on um, continuing to, to in come up with new and better treatments in all of this as well. So that is giving me hope. I have uh, prayers for refugees. The world has more refugees now than I think it has ever had. Uh, there are so many uh, uh, needing homes, needing to find homes. It's yeah. uh, yeah. refugees. Mm -hmm. Dear ones, you are continue, continue, I continue to invite you to ponder these questions, to let these questions take you th through the rest of this week, thinking about noticing where you see hope, opening your heart to where our world needs hope. Um, for the rest of the ship, I, you know, if you want to write out your prayer requests on those paper strips, make a prayer chain in your home or send them to church. 
um, or continue to use those coloring pages as, as tools for meditation, um, you are free to continue to do that as we enter into our spoken prayers together. God of hope, you shed your light in the darkness of this world. Grant that we may always live in the promise of your word made flesh. O God, for whom we long, show us your mercy. God of peace, establish your justice in the nations of this world that all may strive for the good of your creation. O God, for whom we long, show us your mercy. God of joy, fill our world with the light of your presence, that we may share the good news of Christ's coming. O God, for whom we long, show, show, us, show your us your mercy. God of love, you comfort all in need of your tender care. Watch over those who are sick, those who mourn, and those who struggle in the midst of holiday joy. O oh God, for whom we long. Show us your mercy. God with us, you promise everlasting mercy to your children from generation to generation. Stay with us always and show us your salvation. O oh God, for whom we long. Show, show us your mercy. We bring our we bring our prayers twice, apparently. We bring our prayers before you, God of mercy, by the pleading of your Holy Spirit, through the love of Jesus Christ, who teaches us to pray. Our Father in heaven, in heaven hallowed, be your, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, today Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and, and deliver us from evil. For the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. Now as we continue to await the coming of Christ, May the God of our salvation grant us peace and joy, hope and gladness, this night and always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. The world is about to turn. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.